Everybody can hear me. Hey, y'all, I know y'all want to hurry up and get started because Empire come on. I want to see it too. So we're going to get this thing started. First of all, I want to let everybody know that you are royalty and what you are about to get and learn is something that is so powerful and dangerous at the same time. Yes, I said it. When I mean dangerous, I mean that you're going to be so powerful that you have to be responsible. So in order for you to be responsible, you got to do the right thing. And when you reassert your rights and powers through peace with the government, you will succeed, okay? Now, here's our disclaimer. Legal information is not the same as legal advice. The organizer and host does not endorse the presenter as a legal advisor. Therefore, the information provided on this seminar is for educational and entertainment purposes only and with the understanding that the author, organizer, host, and presenter mm -hmm. are not engaged in rendering legal advice. Neither the organizer and host nor the presenter offer legal advice. Mm -hmm. As such, the information provided on the seminar should not be used as a substitute for consulting professions such as attorneys or other competent legal and professional services. He who does not know his rights is no better than he who has no rights. Hey, y'all, use of this information herein is at the seminar, webinar, attendees' own risk. All rights reserved without recourse. All right. Without communication, there is no relationship. Without respect, there is no love. Without trust, there is no reason to continue. Everybody who is attending this seminar, we are teaching you to be skilled in speech so that you will succeed. The tongue of a man is his sword, and effective speech is stronger than all fighting. Effective speech is stronger than all marching or protesting. <clears throat> effective speech is stronger than all fighting. So be clear when you are communicating with the government. When you're doing things, you don't want the government to think that you are a, 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 a vigilante or a terrorist. You've got to be peaceful. So we're going to teach you how to reassert your rights and your powers. And, y'all, and you're going to learn how to have an official court order. You know how they have court orders? We order you, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? You're going to have an official court order. Get excited. Get excited. This is, just a, this is just a teaser. When the truth comes, you can't hear it because you're programmed to fear it. That's what Lauren Hill said on her first album. There is no illusion greater than fear. Fear is a false expectation of parent real. Okay, let's go. Today, we're going to be sharing with you how to research your God-given unalienable rights with the government, this is going to be the best 45-minute presentation you'll ever see. <laughs> Before I get started, I'd like to warn you, this document has nothing to do with color or any special groups or individuals who hate the government. It has everything to do with the law. You're an offspring of the gods, and that automatically makes you powerful, unless you surrender it. See, you're an offspring of the Most High. It's in Genesis 1, Genesis 1st chapter, verses 26 through 30. That's your jurisdiction. Write it down. Genesis 1, 26 through 30 is your jurisdiction. But you be surrendering it. We're going to get it back. Jabbar, thanks for keeping up with me. I hope if I'm going too fast, slow me down. When did you agree to be governed by any written statutes? of your birth state, your domicile state, the United States. Hey, y'all, when did you agree to be governed by any of these codes, ordinances, and things out here that they have made up to get money from you? Did you agree to that? Here's where the deception just started, y'all. 
your mother, the most wonderful woman in the world, gave us away to the government through the signed birth certificate. There are two of you, y'all. It's the corporate you, the John Henry Doe, the whatever your name is in all capital letters, which is a state agency, which is a decedent state agency. I'm going to say that again. There are two of you. One is the corporate you, John Henry Doe, or whatever the all capital name is that's on all your bills. That is called a decedent state agency. That was established a few days after your birth. Then there's you, the living soul. The one who has no contracts. The one who has no social. You were deceived into believing that the all cap name on the birth certificate and all other government documents, bills, etc. is you. The living man slash woman. In effect, you became a ward of the state. From an abandoned child to an abandoned adult. And the government is your parents. And that's called Parents Patriot. That is the Latin term for how you doing. We your parents. We tell you what to do. So shut up. That's exactly what's going on, y'all. And your age does not matter to the government. I don't care if you're 18 or over, shut up and do what we say. You have no power in the eyes of the government, and you're still a child until you reassert your rights and powers. Let's look at the definition of parents patriarch. It's Latin for parent of his or her country. The power of the state to act as a guardian for those who are unable to care for themselves such as children or disabled individuals. For example, under this doctrine, a judge may change custody, child support, or other rulings affecting a child's well-being, regardless of what the parents may have agreed to. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you're looked at by every corporation. And in 2015, enough is enough. The information is coming break next for you, y'all. Get excited. Get excited. Y'all about to learn some things, and you're about to reassert your rights back. You see, you're looked at as a federal employee, an agent, an obligor, a corporation, a public officer, a guarantee, a U.S. citizen, a ward of the state, a child, etc. And the government are your parents until you say otherwise. Mm-hmm. Your employer are your parents until you say otherwise. Bill collectors, banks, etc., are your parents until you say otherwise. In order for lawful representation to exist, there must be mutual consent, and that consent must be revoked by for any reason, depending on the nature of the specific contract between both parties. Here are some internal revenue service facts. The Social Security number can only be issued to federal employees for use only in the performance of their official duties. You see all these codes up here? That's what I love about Jabari. When Jabari does his research, he doesn't give theory. A lot of people out there are a lot of people out there are theory theorists. Hey, hey, I think that this might be the reason. No. We're going, to, we're going to produce the proof and be truthful in everything we do. Everything Jabari and I do, we produce proof. That's why I love Jabari because he has great character, and you are getting it right now. So y'all write this stuff down, or y'all keep this, 20 CFR 422.104. When you sign U.S. citizen on the application, the Social Security application, you told them that you was dead. You literally say, hi, how you doing? I'm dead. So administer this state of the decedent. Look up the word decedent, D-E-C-E-D-E-N-T. The Social Security number is not yours. It's the property of the government. C-20 CFR 422.103, letter D is in David. Hey, y'all, the Social Security number is not yours. 
Why do you say when someone asks for your for the social, see how they do it to what's your social? So they're lying to you as well. The living, breathing man or woman on the land was never issued a social. Then he or she can honestly say no in response to the question of whether he was ever issued a social. The social is, is issued to the federal public officer and not to the living, breathing man. And then only while he is an agent of the federal government. And, yo, and if you look at the Social Security Policy Manual, SSN, write it down. Hey, learn. Be smart. Hey, y'all, everything y'all been waiting for, this is it. SSN means slavery surveillance number. That's what it is. It's a slavery surveillance number. Go to the next one, Jay. Okay. Here's some internal revenue service facts continue. Anyone who uses a social security number who is not a federal employee acting on official commercial government business is guilty of impersonating a federal employee, which is a crime. You can only use it in connection with a public purpose and not a private purpose. Get it? And it's also illegal in a crime to use or abuse a social for a private or personal use. This is called embezzlement or conversion, and you will go to jail for that. And there's the U.S. You see, the USC codes. And everybody, USC codes stands for United States Code, USC. Great. So what do you do? Knowledge is potential power until you use and enforce it. And you must secure your mask first and stand on your own square. Everybody learn something right now. In order for you to be successful in anything in this life, you got to stand on your own square. Can't nobody save you. E, sir, produce your proof if you be truthful. Great. Ancient Moorish text, which some people call the Bible, ancient Egyptian text, which some people call the Bible, there's a story where Jesus said, everybody got to carry their own cross, and it's in Matthew, and I'm trying to find it right now, but I'm going to come back and get it later when I can find it, because we got to move on with this. So everybody can see um, Empire and get ready to get yourself together to be on the February 21st joint. Okay. And, y'all, another thing, too. You know how we do, kind of like doing this kind of easy? Because get, everybody say this. The yoke is easy and the burden is light once you make a decision that you want justice. The yoke is easy. And the burden is light once you make a decision that you like to reassert your rights. Because remember the beginning of the presentation. If you don't tell the government what you're supposed to be telling them through what we're talking about, what this is about, then they're going to look at you as a child forever, no matter what you do, no matter what your nationality is, no matter what. So deal with it. You cannot fight the government, y'all, which are your parents. You think your mother and father are your parents? Nope, it's the government. And think you're going to win. This is commerce, and there are rules of engagement. Y'all got to learn them or get spanked in the butt. Living souls on this line. Also in the process, you might get abused, handcuffed, kidnapped, incarcerated, or even killed in your fight with the government and its agencies. But remember, you got to be skilled in speech so that this won't happen. Then you're going to be successful. Because the tongue of a man is a sword. The tongue of a man or woman is his or her sword. And effective speech is stronger than all fighting. So like I always tell people, why rage against the machine when you can simply just unplug it and reassert your God-given unalienable rights and powers? Unalienable means that nothing is, no one can make you alien to your rights that God gave you. Remember that. 
So here's a couple of questions I want to ask you. Do you recall never being sold or purchased as a slave? Did you know slavery cannot exist in the United States except for a person who has been convicted of a crime? A person. A person. I want to teach y'all something, y'all. A person. Write this down. A person will never get respect. Know why? Because ancient Moorish text says, I don't respect persons. That's in, that's in, the, that's in 1 Peter 1 through 17. That's in Ephesians 6 through 9. Hey, y'all, a person. Hey, y'all, remember when you used to go to church and the pastor used to say, God is no respect for persons. God will do the same thing for you that he'll do for this person. That, that's a lie. Guess what that meant? Everybody repeat that to me and write it on your paper. You ain't got to repeat it, but write it down. The Bible is a commerce book. And it says, if you come in this joy and you're a person, we don't respect you. And you know what a person is? The all capital name on that birth certificate. We don't respect you. That all capital name on that driver's license. We don't respect you. That all capital name on that social. We don't respect you. So until you get out of that person status, You got problems. The creator of the universe wants you to do good, nothing else. And the creator of the universe will surely reprove you, reprove you. That means get on you. That means make life, I mean, not make life terrible for you, but, but you will make life terrible for yourself if you do secretly accept persons. And if you call on the Father, who without respect of persons judges according to every man's work, for there is no respect of persons with God. So guess what? The court think they're God, and they don't respect persons. Keep doing stuff in that all capital name. Y'all been hearing about that all capital name. Stop transacting business in it. But this is not what this is about. It's even better than that. You're not free, so please read and study the Constitution of the United States, and let's take a look at what the Constitution says. Amendment 13, <laughs> Section 1, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party. Oh, yeah, another thing, too, y'all, write this down. I am not a party. In the Bible, God didn't make parties. See how we off? See how we off track? See, watch this. All y'all be saying stuff to yourself like, "Hey, who are we?" I mean, when people, when people say, um, "Get to know who you are," know that you're not a person, a party, a obligor, a trustee, a surety, an agent, a corporation. Because you're going to be convicted of a crime, then they'll make you, they, they, they only convict persons. Because live flesh and blood, people can't be convicted. And Section 2 says Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation, which they already did. And so the American, go to the next one, Jabbar. So the American history books teach you that the 13th Amendment formally outlawed the institution of forced slavery throughout the United States. But those history books omit and fail to tell you that the government instituted a new form of legal slavery. Legal slavery. Hey, y'all, tell your friends, get on Facebook. If you're going to watch Empire and, and love Empire, I ain't mad at you. But guess what? Tell people about, guess what, y'all, this is legal slavery going on. It's a legal slavery. Especially all y'all people, tell about y'all care about people. 
I'm telling you, everybody you know need to be on that February 21st seminar that Jabari's putting on. I'm letting you know right now. Because after this, that's not going to be true. Because after that, after, that, after that seminar, you're going to be good. They even changed the language in the Constitution to legitimize their actions. Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. And here go the slave contracts, the B.C., the social, and your consent by taking responsibility by you assuming the identity of the straw man like they did in Michael, like they did in the Wiz. And Michael Jackson got them all through the Wizard of Oz, but he said he was looking for a brain because he didn't know who he was. That's us out there, being a straw man, the scarecrow. Aren't you tired of being a scarecrow? That ain't who God made you to be, y'all. That's why you're irritated and frustrated, and I get it. So just let y'all know you're not free. And I know this might be hard for you to swallow, but we've been tricked. Oh, my goodness. Jabbar, hold on, Jabbar. It went away, but it's coming back. Hey, y'all, be patient with me. I'll be right with you real quick, okay? So y'all getting it. Y'all know what's going on. Okay, hold on, Jabbar. This thing is... I'm right with y'all. I just got to get back to it. I got off the page. Jabbar, this thing is just going crazy. Jabbar, everything. Okay, hold on. No. My thing just went, it just went, wow. It just, it just, I don't know what happened. Okay. Give me, be patient, y'all, but we, we right there. Y'all get it. I just, I just got to get back to some, to some, to some pages. Jamal, you, are you moving it? No. Okay. Hey, Javon, I know the show. Every time we be sharing information, this powerful stuff be happening, man. <sighs> okay, hold on. I got it. Coming right up. Okay, now. So, here's what happened. The American history books forced us to be enslaved, and now we're going to get out of it. So in order for lawful representation, Jabbar, I'm on number page 19. In order for lawful representation to exist, there must be mutual consent, and that consent may be revoked for any reason, depending on the nature of the specific contract between both parties. Did you knowingly give consent to be governed or represented by any government agency or sign up to be a slave? Have you? Okay. You be feeling like that sometimes, I get it. When you read such a rights and powers, you're no longer a slave. After what me and Jabari shared with you on February 21st, you will not be a slave any longer. And you're notifying all who read this document and any other interested parties that you have revoked your consent to be governed by fictitious soulless corporate entities with whom you do not have a subsisting contract. 
I have a friend that when we put this document in, y'all, the judge walked out of his um, right, walked right out of his office, saying, "Who is the guy who filed this document?" And we pointed to him. After me and Jabari gave it to him, the judge came over to him and said, "Well done. It's amazing when someone truly knows their rights." I haven't seen a lot of these in my twenty something years of being a judge. But when they come across, all I say, all I want to do is find out the person who did it and shake their hand. Did y'all hear what I said? The judge shook my man's hand. When you record this document, it becomes an automatic official court order, permanent court order, a stopple, and it will automatically and permanently stop any peace officers from bringing any charges against you or prosecutors, and that's power. The secret is hidden in plain sight. In order to ensure maximum clarity with all government agencies as a peaceful man or woman desiring to avoid conflict and live lawfully with maximum freedom, you have to give them effective and proper notice with the opportunity to respond point for point to your claims, understanding and intent. They're not going to respond because they can't. Remember, lawful and legal are not always the same. Y'all better look up those two words, lawful and legal. Don't forget, we don't give legal advice. This is a seminar. This is civics. Y'all, everybody who is listening to this, know what the meaning of lawful is. Know what the meaning of legal is. Here goes some more facts. All acts of statutes in the United States are only contracts based in commerce. Did y'all know that? Everybody write this down. No contract, no case. A statute is defined as a legislative rule of society. A statute is defined as a legislative rule of society, which has been given the force of law over the members of that society. Let me ask you a question. What society are you a part of? If you are a part of a society, and if you are a part of a society, where is the contract required? Where is the contract? And if there isn't any contract, it's void because the statute of frauds, write that down, the statute of frauds says that a contract must have certain elements. And if it don't have it, it's no way you can be. But 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 but, hey, but when you but when you like enforcing it, you tell them y'all violated the statute of frauds. Write that down. Y'all violated the statute of frauds. Okay, I'm getting off. I'm getting off this point. The government of the United States is not a nation or place that occupies a geographical location as you were taught in school. Ladies and gentlemen of this seminar, the government of the United States is a corporation with de facto authority versus lawful authority. The government and all, this, all of its agencies can only make corporate contract law that has the force of law upon its consenting members, upon its consenting, 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 I'm going to say it one more time, Con Consenting members, which are the public officers, the federal agents, the sureties, the government trustees, and the federal employees. All my brothers and sisters listening to this, the law of the land is the peaceful common law that is not influenced by acts and statutes. And then the common law, the rights, freedoms, and duties of private living men and women has long been established. And unlike statutory law, and common law has a progression toward more freedom and personal responsibility rather than less. So here's some of your God-given rights 
the right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, the right to property and the use thereof, privacy, peace, the right and ability to travel freely in public without harassment or intimidation. The right, I mean, let me add something to it, Jabbar. The, the right to, to not be a part of anything you don't want to be a part of. You have, you have a right, everybody write this down. You have a right to associate and a right not to associate. And you can just tell them it doesn't fall well within my belief. So that's why I'm participating in it. And can nobody make me participate in it? Here's an example of a statute. The law states that you need a driver's license to do business. It's the best definition I have ever heard for the word license. A license is permission to do what otherwise would not be allowed. Tell your friends what the definition of license is. It's permission. So you ask for permission to, to have a constitutional right. That's what our dumb butts did when we got a driver's license. Well, I don't have one. But when people got driver's licenses, that's what they did. They said, can I have permission to get in my car? And do what I'm to do what God told me to do. Thank you. Thank you, parents. No, I'm not getting on nobody. I'm just I'm just making you see it like that so you can stop um enforcing your rights and we can all stop being suckers. And we're not violent. We're not against the government. We just want to live peaceful. Did you know it is lawful to abandon one's social? Did did y'all know that? Did you know that you have the right and power to revoke, revoke or deny consent to be represented and thus governed? Did you know that? Did you know that a living, breathing soul can lawfully revoke consent and exist free of statutory restrictions, obligations, and limitations? A bylaw is defined as a rule of a corporation. Did you know that? Did you know that corporations are legal fictions and require contracts? Corporations are legal fictions and require contracts in order to claim authority or control over other parties. And remember, you're not a party. Here are four questions, man, I want you to ponder on. First, why should you reassert your rights and power through peaceful means with the government? Second question, why not? Third question, why not you? Fourth question, why not now? As long as you're a society, mem a society member by contract, the government and its agencies are going to abuse you whenever you violate the statutes and laws of the corporation, period, in the story, and it's not debatable. That is why you need this document in place to break those adhesive and blind contracts that you have in bondage, and this document does that. I've seen it. Here's some more known facts. The United States of America and all of its states and territories are common law jurisdictions. Two, a statute is defined as a legislative rule of society which has been given the force of law. Three, a society is defined as a number of people joined by mutual consent to deliberate, determine, and act for a common goal. Four, the only form of government recognized as lawful in the United States of America is a representative one. That is the reason you must register to vote. But you gave them all away when you got to vote the registration card because you have no rights because you're a ward of a state. When you say, I want to vote for somebody to tell me what to do. Wow. Number five. Representation requires mutual consent, and in the absence of mutual consent, neither representation nor governance can exist. Only a fool 
would allow a soulless fiction to dictate his or her actions. Legal fictions lack a soul and cannot exert any control over those who are thus blessed and operate with respect to their knowledge. Wow. Did you hear what I said? Legal fictions lack a soul and cannot exert any control over those who are thus blessed and operate with respect to that knowledge. It's time to be free, y'all. <sighs> Did you know that a police or law enforcement officer's job is to get money for the corporation? Did you know that they're commerce agents and not police, not peace officers? You have the power to refuse intercourse or interaction with police or law enforcement officers who have not observed you breach the peace. If anyone attempts to enforce statutes against you after you record your freedom document, he or she is violating a court order, a default judgment, permanent court order, and is thus guilty of breaking the law. That's when you sue, y'all. And you win. All courts in the United States are de facto and are, in fact, corporations doing business for profits by conducting, witnessing, and facilitating the transactions of security interests. They're not courts, y'all. They're corporations. And courts cannot do business with the living soul. So remember, the judge cannot put a corporation in jail. That is why they trick you into assuming responsibility for the corporation, it's which is that all cap name, that the seed and state agency. When you record your reasserting your of rights and powers freedom document, it becomes an official court record. Official default judgment court record. Permanent estoppel. Permanent estoppel. He said, what this work for? Everything. He said, everything, everything. He said, hold on, for, for child support, yeah. For little, yeah. For blah, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I seen it. And it will automatically and permanently stop any peace officers from, or prosecutors from bringing charges against you. Y'all need to share this information with everyone you know, love, and respect. Everybody talk about their love, people. Tell all your people, February 21st, get on this um, seminar. Because we cannot do it for you, and you cannot do it for anyone else. You're a direct offspring of the gods and the creators of the heavens and the earth. And it is an abomination of God for anyone to carry your cross. Did you know that? You must stand on your own square. It's one of the most powerful statements you can ever say to lock up a court. When the administrator calls your case and asks all you to all cap, your only answer should be, Your Honor, I am a living soul. And can this court do business with a living soul? Remember, the judge cannot put a fiction in jail. That is why they want you to take responsibility for the corporation through your unknowingly and unwillingly consent. But always be kind and respectful and speak in a calm, clear voice. Remember, if you record your your document, and your case, they're going to see it and read it. And only a fool gives consent to a soulless, fictitious corporation. The court is a corporation, and it cannot do business with a living soul. Stand on your square and let your document speak for you. It's self-explanatory. The administrator will never overrule his or her boss which is the secretary of your birth state or the secretary of your domicile state or any secretary of state for that reason. Your document is an official court order 
permanent, estoppel, automatic. Now that's power. And this ain't no theory. It's freedom time now, y'all. It's 2015. Let's stop faking. Everybody get their stuff together. Follow what I do. And this is what you will do. Before you record your document, you got to insert your fee schedule to protect yourself from any transgressors, from any of these officers or government agencies out here, mm -hmm. from being interrogated or in any way detained or harassed. If you're handcuffed, transported, incarcerated, or subjected to any adjudication process without your express written and notarized consent, you need your fee schedule. In closing, I want to thank, ask you three very important questions. Here's the first one. Why would you say no to reasserting your powers through your God-given unalienable rights and peace? with the federal government, your birth state, and the state in which you are domiciled. Second question. Why would you say no to putting in place an official court order that will automatically and permanently stop any peace officers or prosecutors from bringing charges against you when you're operating under the law? This does not work for people who murdering and killing and all that goofy stuff. Oh, yeah, guess what? You people who do stuff like that, which are not people on this call, this will not work for you. Bam, bam, bam. Because the most high won't let it work for you because you're not fulfilling the law. This, the, this is for responsible, loving, peaceful people who want to be left a block alone. Third question. Why would you say no to stopping all transgressions, interrogations, harassment? unlawful kidnapping, handcuffing, transporting, and incarceration without your express written and notarized consent. And lastly, why would I share this information with you if I thought there was a remote possibility that you might fail? Why would I do that? What did I get out of that? A bad name, and we don't want that. I don't want that. All the living souls on here, you're a direct extension of the gods who created the heavens and the earth. You are royalty. Believe it, know it, and act like it. You have unalienable rights given to you by your creators. That means no one can lean your rights. And everybody is alien to your rights. Your rights belong to you. Y'all see Genesis 126 right there? And Elohim said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. We are such a power and be skilled in speech if you want to succeed. Remember, the tongue of a man or woman is his or her sword, and effective speech is stronger than all fighting. Never let a soulless corporation and its agents dictate your actions. You're an offspring of the creators of the heavens and earth. Does that mean you get to get out of jail free card? Of course not. Does this mean you, I can do whatever I want, Ethan, and, and do out and do and do um wheelies down the street and kill people and get people diseases and do whatever? No. It means that you can exist in peace as God intended, avoiding conflict, conflict, and living lawfully. Everybody, this is what you will do. It all goes down Saturday, February 21st. We start at 11 a.m. Sharp. Sharp. This is what you will do. Everybody, this is what you will do 
You're going to register now for February 21st, 2015. You're going to go to www.r as in raw, a as in apple, e as in e, e as in everybody, l as in Larry, square dot w i x dot com slash one square again i will read it again to spell it i will read it and spell it www dot rael square dot wix dot com slash the number one square that's www dot R as in Robert, A as in Apple, E as in everybody, L as in Larry, S as in Sam, Q as in quiet, U as in umbrella, A as in Apple, R as in Robert, E as in everybody, dot W as in right, I as in it, X as in a xylophone, dot C as in calm, O as in octopus, M as in Mike, slash the number one, S as in Sam, Q as in quiet, U as in umbrella, A as in apple, R as in Robert, E as in everybody. It's freedom time now. It's freedom time, y'all. We finally, hey, yo, hey, yo, okay, watch this. We finally, I think we got it now. I think we got it. I mean, I, I know we have it. Register. Um, also, if you want Jabari, okay, I mean, they, 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 that's how you register. And Jabari, give them your email address, Jabari. It's Jabari, J-A-B-A-R-I underscore E-L at yahoo.com. Jabari, give it to him one more time, God, bye. All right, that's Jabari, J A B A. R I on the school E L at Yahoo dot com. Thank you, Jabbar. And ladies and gentlemen, we're getting off in the next minute or so. The only way to register is to go to www.rialsquare.wix.com slash one square or the email that Jabari just gave you. There's no other way to register. I can't wait to see y'all February twenty first. And y'all tell everybody you, okay, hold on, I'm sorry. Tell the serious, civic-minded, non-theory, loving, beautiful, responsible people that you know, if they want to reassert their God-given rights and powers through peaceful means, do not miss this seminar. Saturday, February 21st, 2015. And guess what? Jabari, we did it right in time so everybody can get ready to go see Empire. Jabari, <laughs> Jabari you got anything else you want to say to the people? Because I'm done. No, that's it. Thanks, every, thanks everyone. Y'all have a beautiful day. I'll see y'all February 21st. Peace. Thank mm-hmm. you.